to keep people working now who might not be able to, to be employed by UTA otherwise. A big boost in funding for UTA means projects are moving forward, creating jobs in the process. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. The Utah, the U.S. Department of Transportation made the announcement last night that over $48 million would be headed to UTA as part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Now, UTA is saying that the funds were distributed to several states with those shovel-ready ready projects that, fortunately, Utah did have. And Shara Park joins us live now with more on how the money will be spent here in Utah with UTA. Hi, Shara. Hi, Rich and Tanya. More than half of the $48 million received will be used to renovate this old ZCMI warehouse behind me near 21st South and 9th West. It will become the new Jordan River Service Center. That's really exciting to us. It means that we can get started. The new Jordan River Service Center was expected to be finished sometime in 2015. But now, with Thursday's announcement of federal stimulus money, the project from start to finish will only take two years. Getting the, the funds up front means that we can make commitments to the contractors, the subcontractors. Of the $48.3 million, the service center will spend 24.8 of it renovating the building. Once it's finished, there will be seven light rail tracks going into the building with three or four more going around it. Inside, there'll be a wheel repair shop, a washing facility, and much more. We have great big pits to access underneath the vehicles so that you can repair them. We have big platforms so that you can uh, get on top of the vehicles and repair the things on top. The new service center will be three times the size of UTA's current one and will employ 200 people when it's done. The construction, however, will provide another 180 jobs. Jerry Carpenter says that's exactly what President Obama intended the money to do. For every worker we can employ here, uh, renovating our new service center, uh, that's, that's somebody who, who's at working that might not have a job otherwise. So where is the rest of the stimulus money going? UTA says it will be used in several places. $15 million for preventative maintenance, $7 million to purchase new buses, and $483,000 to improve security on its transit system. The whole idea behind the stimulus money was to uh, create jobs and keep people working, and that's exactly what this money will be doing in Utah. Carpenter says when the uh, provision was added to the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act to allow state transportation agencies to apply for funding, dozens of agencies across the U.S. did just that. He says UTA feels very lucky to receive as much as they did. Back to you.